Hello everyone, myself Somitra Satpati, a faculty member in the Department of Physics at Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. I welcome you all to our course Solar Photovoltaics, Fundamental Technology and Application. It's all about energy. So from morning to the night, we can't imagine a single moment in our life without energy. But where this energy is coming from? It is coming by burning the fossil fuels like coal, petroleum and natural gas. But those days are not very far away that if we keep on using these fossil fuels, we'll be depleted out of all the conventional sources of energy. In addition to that, there is the problem of global warming. So we have to find out some alternative. Now, what are those alternatives? There are several sources of alternative energy like tidal energy, wind energy, hydrothermal energy, solar energy. But out of all of these, solar energy is particularly very, very interesting because at least for our lifetime and future few generations lifetime, sun will be there. And it's a very clean and green source of energy, which does not leave any carbon residue. So that's why the solar energy becomes very, very popular nowadays. Now this course is all about the solar energy. We'll start with the very basic semiconductor physics where we learn about the PN junction semiconductor. Then we'll move to some fundamental idea of the quantum mechanics. As we know that the charge carrier dynamics behave differently in the quantum domain. So we need to learn a very basic understanding about this process applied to the semiconductor physics. Now, when we talk about the solar cell, whether it is a small solar chip embedded in your calculator or a big solar panel installed in your house, so this is mainly a silicon solar cell. But silicon is not the only solar cell which is there in the market. There are different generations of solar cell. We have first generation solar cell, like silicon solar cell. Then we have second generation solar cell, like amorphous silicon solar cell. Then we have third generation solar cell, like disensitized solar cell, organic solar cell, and most recently, perovskite solar cell. In our course, we'll learn in details about all these different classifications of solar cell. We'll learn about what is the working principle behind this solar cell, how to fabricate this solar cell, how to test this solar cell, and as well as how to install them. So that's why this course is not about the fundamental science. It is about the application and the engineering protocol of fabricating the solar cell. So that's why this course will be very, very useful for undergraduate students postgraduate students as well as people from the industry. Throughout the course, we'll have a lot of live demonstration. We'll show you how to fabricate the solar cell in the lab. We'll also explain you different procedures. If you have any questions, you can always email to us or any of my PhD students. We'll have some exams and some tutoring class also. During this process, if you have any difficulty, you are always welcome to contact us. At the end of this lecture, we'll learn about how to go to the commercialization aspect. So that's why not only for the physics, chemistry or electronics background people, this course will be useful for a lot of different varieties of engineering branch, including electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, metallurgical engineering, nanotechnology, etc, etc. And I'm sure it will be very, very useful for a lot of industry people. So I'm sure it will be a very, very enlightening and exciting course for all of us and I welcome you all to see in my course. Thank you very much.